Hi, this is Rand from Radio 66, and this is a review of a simple AM radio kit I found on the internet. It only uses two transistors, but it's very unique. If you like to fiddle with these kind of things like I do, you might want to take a look at this. It's made by a company called Maxitronics, right there. It's sold on Amazon through a company called Lenco, and I think I bought it for around $16. Now, what's nice about this kit, it does not require any soldering. It just requires a couple of hand tools like a screwdriver and a pair of long nose pliers like this. And uh, it's very straightforward. It includes all the parts except for a 9-volt battery and is very well put together. Now, it has a manual that's very clear, very understandable. It clearly shows you where the parts are and what the parts are and how to put them in. Very straightforward, written in decent English, so you should not have any problems. Now, here is the actual board itself. It's populated here, but when you get it, there's nothing on the board at all. In fact, there are a bunch of holes here. The first thing you want to do is screw in these little springs. You just t twist them in. Sometimes you might need a pencil to help uh, screw them in a little bit more, but you can pretty much turn them in by your fingers and just get them in nice and tight and then you can put in the actual components themselves. Now there are four components that have to go in a sp very specific way. This diode, these two transistors, and this electrolytic cap have to go in a very distinct way. But the other components, it doesn't matter if they're forward or backwards, just make sure that they're the right uh, components. Up here you have the antenna bar. It has four wires hanging off of it. The wires are color-coded and the instructions tell you exactly what wire to connect to what pin. Now, all the component leads and the wires feed through on the bottom like this, and all you have to do is lift up the spring and slide the component lead into the open space in the spring and then let it close. Now, there'll be three or four different uh, components going into one spring, so double check, make sure that uh, they're in there nice and tight, and they're on the correct spot. So, here is the schematic of the radio itself. And specifically how this radio works is very straightforward. This is the antenna bar, which you saw. It's made of a material that will attract radio waves. And this coil that's at the bottom of the bar itself is attached to a tuning capacitor, which picks out a very specific station in the AM band and allows that station to flow through the bar up and down. And while that's happening, another coil is wrapped around the other part of the bar and picks up that signal and feeds it into this transistor, which amplifies the signal and sends it around. And as it comes around, it goes into this diode, and the diode strips away the radio frequency information, leaving just the audio information itself. And then that audio information comes down through this coil through this capacitor into the second stage trans, uh, transistor and then the signal is amplified enough to drive an earphone that's on this and then back around. This particular transistor actually does two things. It amplifies both the radio frequencies coming off the antenna and then also it amplifies the audio signals that's being brought around here too. This is known as a reflex circuit. It's been around since about World War I and uh, it's very effective and helps make this radio very efficient for just a two transistor radio. It does not require an external antenna, but you can put one on if you're trying to increase the ability for this to pick up horror stations. So does this thing work? Well, I brought this thing around here now. Again, here's the antenna bar that I was pointing to in that first transistor and that second transistor. This is the diode that strips away the information. So let's see if this thing works. I brought in a amplifier on the side here and I'm going to connect one wire here where the earphone normally would go and I'm going to connect the other wire here where the other part of the earphone would go and let's turn it on. There you go. And it does work, and it does work uh, pretty good. 
it does probably need a little more fine-tuning and there's things you can play with it but this is a great kit for someone who just wants to tinker or someone who wants to learn a little bit about electronics so there you go my simple two transistor AM radio my review thanks for watching this is Rand from Radio 66